Hey, what's up team? Uh, Coach Nate here. Today we're going to have a look at a few different rowing variations we can do on an incline bench. Okay, so these are one of my some of my favorite movements for building some mass and muscle, uh, especially kind of in that mid upper back. Um, so we're going to set the bench on a slight incline. Don't want this too high. Um, just kind of not even 45 degrees, less than that. Uh, mainly just so we can get that full range of movement, arms coming down. The reason we can do this with a barbell or dumbbells, I like dumbbells because it allows us a little bit more range of movement. We can get a little bit further with our pull um, and we can get back. Obviously, we're probably not going to be able to lift quite as heavy as we would do with a barbell. So I've got two sets of weights and I'm going to do two movements. The first one is just a kind of uh, side, a close row uh, on this one. So I'm going to set up and I want my body long. I try and have my chin so it's just off the edge. But even still, I'm not in this position anyway when I pull. When I've got the weights, so I want to use my upper back muscles to just lift my back up off the bench. And then I'm trying to hold and maintain that. That's going to really start to work my stabilizing muscles in the upper back. So I've got two weights here, I'm just going to do a set of 10 reps um, and you guys can watch on and see the form as I do it. So take the weights, make sure they're not too heavy, plant the feet into the ground. So I lift the chest, head in line with the body and I'm trying to drive my elbows back, tight to the body and get a nice squeeze as well. So as I drive up. I get a nice little squeeze and pause before I go back down again, okay? So it's not just kind of here. You know that it's too heavy if you're only kind of getting here to your reps, okay? You want to be able to get that full kind of tension on, squeeze through the mid-back before you come back down again. So make sure you're not going too heavy with the weight on there. One other thing, if you haven't got too heavy weights or you really want to focus more on the uh, control, uh, building some mass, you can work on your tempo. So that might mean I do maybe a one, two second up. I might squeeze for a couple of seconds, hold tight, and then control on the way down. Or I might do a fast pull, boom, get my squeeze, and then one, two, three. Okay, that extended amount of time is really gonna work your grip strength because you're having to hold on to the dumbbells for longer. Um, and it's really going to build some isometric strength so being able to hold that tight, strong position with your back. The next variation we're going to have a look at is a uh, incline bench kind of face pull movement or high row. This time instead of elbows tucked in, we're doing it's more of this kind of movement here, driving them elbows up uh, and wide. We're working more that kind of upper back now, okay? So definitely lighter weights for this one. Um, I was using 22 and a half, so I'm going down to 12 and a half. Um, same kind of start position, but as I row, okay, so you can see I drive up, try and finish with elbows around 90 degrees, okay, and even with the 12 and a half, so I'm finding that pretty tough, okay, so this time it's kind of this movement, get that squeeze, little pause, then down. And we're working a lot more that kind of upper uh, mid-back compared to here we're working a bit more lats and kind of lower back. Um, again, you can play with tempo, so you might do up. And then work a little bit more controlled on the way down. So key things to avoid on there is that kind of hunched and rounding posture. Um, don't go too heavy, so go lighter, focus on form and technique. Um, don't rush it either, so try and take your time, unless you're purposely doing like really fast reps if you're doing training for maybe a fast paced sport uh, where you're working on lots of quick pulls. Even if you're doing it quick, make sure you maintain the same quality of technique. The last one we can do, uh, the last movement we can have a look at on here that I like is just doing a single arm instead of a double arm. So what I'm gonna do on here is, I'm just gonna have a weight in one arm, it's going to want to pull me down, so I've got to kind of counteract that. I can use the other arm as a support kind of on the bench. So what I'll do here is wrap this free hand around there, take my weight, shoulder back. OK, 
Okay, and then I'm just doing my single arm. I can have this arm free. Okay, um, I can also work my... Obviously, the heavier that weight, the more it's going to want to pull me, the more I'll either need to hold on or I need to brace my core nice and tight so I'm not kind of twisting and rotating too much on there. Um, with that one, that can be really useful if we're just trying to get some work in on one side to catch it up with the other arm. Um, we could also be using that for rehab again, so if I'm just working, want to work one arm at a time, another good option. The last one we're actually going to look at is a alternating row. Okay, so this one again, I'm using a 12 and a half. So instead of going both together, I'm going to go one arm and then I'm going to switch and do the other arm. So set. Okay, um, the advantage of doing that one, uh, if I just want to get some time under tension, so I'm just going to be a little bit longer, so let's say I want to work endurance, uh, particularly my upper back's going to get fatigued when I'm holding myself up, and I might try and do like five on each arm and then add another five together, um, that's going to really start building some endurance. Also, by doing one, by not doing them together and doing one at a time, we're going to really start to see any weaknesses and differences between the two, which we may want to work on and iron out. Okay, so that is some different incline bench variations that you can do, some rows, face pulls to build some strength through those back muscles and build a nice, thick, strong back.